Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today and welcome back to my channel. Today is day eight of Handmade Hearts and Things, my 2021 Valentine's love themed series where I am sharing some sort of Valentine's project. Today we've got a Valentine Gnome Slimline card. So a few months ago I did a video where I did October, November, and December Slimline Gnome themed cards and I promised to do one uh, for every month. I know we skipped January and I'm sorry about that. It's just going to be out of order. I was really inspired to do February and it was one of those things. I don't know. Is anyone else like me where you know that you kind of want to go in order, but you just can't make yourself like I sat down trying to do February or pardon me, January's first, and it just was not happening. No matter what I did, not going to happen. So I went ahead and skipped it. We're going to come back to it because I know that I'm going to be inspired. I have ideas for March as well um, and April. Ooh, Easter. Anyway, stay focused. Anyway, today we have the Valentine Slimline card with our gnomes. And just like I did in my other video, which I am linking to at the end of this one. So if you want to check out um, October, November, and December. I am piecing together my background. I used the Simon Says Stamp Slimline Nested Rectangle and I did die cut some of the simple stories. Oh, I can't even remember the name. Hold on, be right back. Okay, I'm back. The Sweet Talk Paper. So that is from the February Simon Says Stamp card kit. I had lots left over. In fact, here you can see all my scraps that I used and I still have lots left over. I've already die cut everything for this card. Lots of great Valentine's themed product. So definitely hold on to your scraps is kind of the moral of my story because they're fantastic for a die cut card. I don't know what was going on with my video camera either. I kept trying to fix this. It will adjust. I do apologize. I am so sorry that it's all blown out and ugh. anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting together my uh, gnomes first. I've already put the cards or the pattern paper on the card itself, which is that really pretty cloudy sky, which is fantastic for scene building. I do want to mention really quick, in addition to the Sweet Talk Simple Stories pattern paper, I am using a couple of patterns from the Honey Bee Stamps Fresh Brood. I showed that a minute ago when I was blabbing about something else. I'm sorry. That is going to be for some of the accents on the Mushroom House, as well as our She Gnome that we're working on right now, her hair. A lot of times I'll do Copic coloring for hair, but I was pretty excited to notice that the pattern in this really worked well for the hair. So no Copic coloring needed, which I totally love, except for the nose, of course. I am going to use a little E13 and E11 Copic markers to add a little color there. But other than that, um, most everything isn't going to except for the beards. And I have had multiple requests for any gnome card I've done, which there have been many, not just this little series here of the monthly gnomes, but I've done quite a few gnome themed cards asking to see the coloring of the beard in real life. So here in a little bit, we're going to slow it all down and I am going to keep that in real time. It's just the flicking feathering technique. Very similar to the Wooly Mammoth card I did here a little, um, maybe a couple weeks ago here on my YouTube channel where I showed how to color Wooly Mammoth fur in real time. It's pretty similar. Very, very simple. Not very much blending. It only takes, I only used two markers. You can use more if you want to. Here's a little peek at the She Gnome all put together. I have to say that this Sweet Talk pattern paper used to make their outfits might be one of my favorite things. And the Mushroom House. I have been loving my pattern paper. I know I've been talking about this. I asked you guys if you wanted to see more pattern paper cards. You said yes. 
I promise it won't all be gnomes. I just really wanted to get my Valentine's gnome card as part of this Valentine's series. But love, love, love using up these scraps for this. And I just think the colors are really fresh and fun. We're gonna work on our regular gnome next. Um, just in case this is your first time here or maybe you've never seen these before, Simon Says Stamp has four gnomes in their collection, gnome die cuts. They also have some gnome stamp sets and stencils and, and things like that. I'm using the dies. There's four total, but I'm using just three of them today because I didn't want to overwhelm the card. The slimline card does give you a little bit more real estate to work on, but I felt like three in the mushroom house was just about as many as I could get on our card. Okay, so we are gonna start our feathering. I am just taking my darkest color first. This is my warm gray four, and I'm kind of pulling up from the bottom of the beard with little, very light strokes, just gently pulling up. And then I'm also going to pull down from the top of the beard and then around the bottom of the nose very lightly. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, hopefully just the slower version of this can give you a little bit of an idea. I do tend to take my time here. It does go fast. So when I say take time, you're seeing this in real time, how long it took me to just color one beard. I don't think that it's very time consuming. There, let's zoom in a little bit. Hopefully this is going to be a little bit more of a better example. And then once we have the warm gray four, I'm just gonna take warm gray one. I take a lighter color and I go back over those darker flicking and feathering lines, but I'm pulling through the dark, which tends to blend out the dark color but also pull and then I pull a little bit further up into the beard, which adds just more of that hair like consistency, which is what we're going for with the beard. You don't have to do this. Like I said, I made their entire outfits from pattern paper so that I didn't have to go in with tons of shading. It was very simple, but things like the nose, uh, noses and the beards really benefit, in my opinion, from a little bit of effort for that shading. It just adds so, so much to the design. I am taking a little white pen and then adding a little highlight detail to the noses. And look how cute. I just... It's kind of fun, almost in that way of paper dolls, I guess, for lack of a better way to, or a better analogy, I guess, dressing them up. So I think it's really fun to try to find ways to embellish. We're going to, because the outfit on this gnome has the die cut little circles. I'm taking some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Carnation, which is a nice bright pink, that I'm going to add to those. Instead of trying to die cut the holes from a contrasting color and inlay them, or you can leave it white, but I like that little texture on the outfit. I did inlay all the hearts on the She Gnome, but those are a little bit easier to do. I have done it before. I have inlaid all of these guys' outfits before, but it's kind of tedious and time consuming, to be honest, so I did not do it today. So this little guy here, the Lil Gnome, he's got a little heart hat and then the bright pink outfit. We will be taking a Nouveau Crystal Drops in the berry color, which is a red, and adding that into his outfit. But I am simply just going in and adding that feathering and flicking to his beard, giving it a little bit of texture, and then we'll color the nose. I did forget to mention, I stack the noses, I die cut the nose twice. So we have the inlaid nose, which goes with the inlay for the rest of the gnome. And then there's the other piece, 
I, I die cut it again and I put the nose on top because it makes the nose stick out further than the rest of the die cut. And I like that, especially for these guys, as I feel like it really just helps their faces quite a lot. And then here's that Nouveau Crystal Drop. We wanna go ahead and, once I have everything kind of paper pieced and colored, I did add the Nouveau Crystal Drops because I wanna set that aside and get that drying as quick as possible. I have the inlaying to do and all of the assembly for the mushroom house, which is gonna take a minute. We also have some uh, sentiments and some stamping to add for the greeting on our card. And by the time we get there, everything should be dry enough to handle where I can put it on the card and then we can set it aside to completely dry. So we're gonna put together the mushroom house now. Now remember when at the beginning of the video I was talking about piecing together this pattern paper. It's a six by eight piece of pattern paper, but it's not six by eight landscape, it's vertical. So I had to piece it together and there is a seam going through there. But the great thing is, is if you are clever with where you place either a gnome or the no mushroom house or some other sort of embellishment, you cover up that seam and the recipient will never know that that was not a piece of pattern paper that was actually that long. So that's my best little tip that if you have a bunch of, especially like six by six, six by eight pattern paper and it's not gonna fit a slimline, you can often kind of piece it together like this and it really works great. I do really love this kind of wood grain look for the stones around the door of the mushroom house and the underneath and even the little spots. I think it helps break up all of the Valentine's themed pattern paper of the mushroom house a little bit. Really, really cute and fun. I love building these mushroom houses too. I've done multiple cards with this die as well. Just very useful because I think it's super, uh, super cute. We're just gonna piece that all together. Add our little doorknob. Now you can go all out. You could even add some other things to this mushroom house. I try to keep these cards, I know it's gonna sound funny, but a little more on the simple side. I know they're not simple. Um, but as far as I'm not going in with tons of marker shading, ink shading, stenciling, um, stamped backgrounds or anything like that. I'm keeping it pretty simple as far as pattern paper. We're, we're taking the clouds from our pattern paper. We're taking the patterns from all of these to, for their outfits. Yes, we're adding some shading for beards and noses and things, but other than that, I am not going crazy. We're adding some nice embellishing to these with maybe some glossy accents or Nuvo crystal drops or whatever. But other than that, we're gonna keep it kind of more on the simple side. All of my sentiments I decided to stack up over to the right of the mushroom house. And it kind of starts with the love you sentiment. This is from actually the heart animals stamp die set. So there is a stamp set and then the dies that coordinate with it. But in the dies that coordinate with the stamp set, there is this little love you. Well, there's actually not a stamp that coordinates with this. It's just kind of like a little bonus. I love when companies do that. And it is nice and tiny. And I think it's just the perfect size for lots of different card designs, but I really liked it here. When paired with a couple of stamped phrases, those are also gonna be from the Heart Animals stamp set. So everything kind of comes from this set. I stamped You Are Special to Me and Sending Hugs and Kisses from that using Rose Apple Simon Says Stamp Ink. We layered the Love You was die cut from one of the Sweet Talk pattern papers, that same red from the gnome, the bottom of the gnome outfit. It's that pattern paper, but I felt like it needed just a little something and my best tip if you want it to have a little shadow so it stands out a little bit more, die cut it from a darker piece of cardstock or pattern paper. So the back of the she gnome hair and the wood grain on the gnome mushroom house 
is dark brown. I just flipped that over and die cut the love you from that and then slightly offset it back behind this, the red love you, and it gives it that subtle shadow so it kind of makes it pop and stand out a little bit more. And then I have been loving adding a layer of glossy accents to my die cut sentiments lately. I love how it gives it that glossy epoxy look. So I went ahead and did that here. I want that to start drying. I forgot to mention, I also added glossy accents to the heart on the She Gnome hat. And then this is some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Frosted Lake for the window on the mushroom house. I also really like glossy accents, but I wanted to do something a little different. So we did some frosted glass look there. And I was not going to, but I'm kind of glad I did. I went ahead and added glossy accents to the spots on the mushroom top and then the stone and the door jam around the mushroom house. It looks terrible until it's dry, but then it does give you that great raised epoxy look. Um, the doorknob as well. And I think it just ties in really nicely and dresses up the mushroom house a little bit more very easily. We're going for easy here. Just simple things we can do with product we maybe already have out. I love to add a little heart embellishment. These are my favorite right now. I do think they're out of stock, but definitely sign up for notifications. These are the Little Things Droplets Blossom Hearts in pink. And I love the light pink color of these. I've been using them on everything Valentine's lately. So, so pretty. And we're just gonna scatter a few of those throughout the card to finish the design. And a happy coincidence, you guys, is that this card does fit in a Simon Says Stamp slimline envelope, even if you don't trim off the top of that hat. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Valentine Gnome Slimline card featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video showcasing some seasonal gnome cards that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.